This is your three-minute radiation fallout forecast for Tuesday, July 24th, 2012, in Canada. Radar imagery from Environment Canada shows scattered rain from Edmonton, Alberta, through Winnipeg, as well as north of Quebec City. Recent high Geiger readings and rainfall were measured from multiple sources in Canada. Due to the positioning of the jet stream and tropopause, all rainfall should be avoided, especially as the rain moves east into Ontario over the next 48 hours. In the U.S., the heat wave is back for the central plains and Midwest and will persist for at least the next 48 hours with temps over 100 in Kansas City, Dallas, Louisville, Atlanta, and St. Louis. There's potential for severe storms from the northern plains, upper Midwest, Ohio Valley, and south mid-Atlantic states. Recent high readings on the east coast, along with the jet stream and tropopause, place the areas of highest concern along this storm ridge, which will persist as it slowly moves east for the rest of the week. In Europe, current weather imagery from Meteo France, as well as precipitation forecasts, show the areas of highest concern for possible fallout are as follows. The northern UK, Scandinavia, Italy, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Albania, Montenegro, and Macedonia. Check Yurdep for radiation monitors, a link which can be found at fukushimafax.com. Nuke Report Recent sun activity and a multitude of electrical and computer problems at nuke plants in the U.S. is causing concern. The following plants have all had problems within the past week. Nine Mile Point, New York, Limerick, Pennsylvania, Calvert Cliffs, Maryland, Oconee, South Carolina, Quad Cities, Illinois, Prairie Island, Minnesota, Fermi 2 and D.C. Cook, Michigan, and Oyster Creek, New Jersey. In addition to power grid disruption, overload from hot weather and sun activity, these aging plants are faltering under the strain. In a recent interview with Dr. Bill Deagle, he confirmed what physicists seem afraid to say, that sun activity not only can change decay rates of radioactive isotopes in a lab, but in a nuclear reactor as well. Sun activity can also contribute to metal fatigue. Gene All said, life is neither static or unchanging. With no individuality, there can be no change, no adaptation, and in an inherently changing world, any species unable to adapt is also doomed. Stay informed. Listen to Nuked Radio on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time as we share information on adapting to all the radiation threats in our lives. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.